The color is pearly white. The company is Sherwin Williams. This is Hue Review, so let's review. I'm James from The Paint People, and this is the color review show that aims to review every single paint color by all the major paint companies. And I'm well on my way. I've got a couple under my belt. I gotta think positively, I can do this. I wanted to do these dedicated reviews because more and more people have been reaching out about actual specific colors, whether you can use them inside, outside, are they worth using? And that's kind of the whole point of Hue Review. I wanna give you my personal opinion on these colors, whether I would use them at all, because apparently my opinion matters a little bit. So to start things off, Pearly White, like I mentioned, is by Sherwin-Williams. If you are using other paint brands, these are some alternatives from different paint companies. They are close matches, but none of them are gonna be spot on. If you want Pearly White, the real color, you gotta go with Sherwin-Williams. Even if you do the custom color matching thing, which I've done hundreds of in the past, maybe even thousands, they're never gonna be perfectly accurate. There's always gonna be a little bit of nuance. So if you're okay with that, tread softly. Let's tread softly. So this series is all about vibe, versatility, and the verdict. Let's get into the vibe of the color. What is Pearly White all about? Talk to me, Pearly. What are you all about? Apparently colors can't talk, so I'll talk for Pearly White on their behalf. It is a slightly warm, leaning off-white paint color that gives you a little bit of a creamy vibe, but it's not a yellow, buttery creaminess. It has some gray added in to give it a bit of a grazy flair, which I like. I enjoy neutrals, especially ones that do lean towards the warmer side of things a little bit. I mean, that's how I feel now. That's how I feel in this current part of my life. I like warmth, I like coziness, but I still like some flexibility and some ease of transitioning to other things if I do want to change things up. So that's a pretty good vibe. I enjoy that vibe. In terms of the technical aspects of Pearly White, this is a lighter paint color, kind of an off-white. It has a 77 LRV, the light reflectance value. This means it's reflecting 77% of the light that hits it, which also means it's a 77 out of 100 on the lightness scale. There is no such thing as a perfect white paint color. If you saw our episode on Daggerator's White by Benjamin Moore, that would be a 100 LRV color and it just doesn't exist. You won't find it anywhere. AI will figure it out. But for now, we got to settle with off-whites. There's nothing wrong with that. Pearly White is a perfectly great off-white, warm creaminess, but what I appreciate about it most is its undertones, or its undertone mainly. It's actually kind of greeny. It has like this very, very, very subtle green. When you take warm, creamy beige, a bit of gray, and some green, you got yourself green age there, baby. Green age is my favorite kind of neutral these days, and it has been for the last couple years. It's because it is a different take on grayish. It has a little more nuance to it. It has that very subtle green quality that allows it to transition from warm to cool. It works beautifully around plant life, so if you got an olive tree just handy, the green aspect will really harmonize very, very nicely with plant. For me, who does enjoy warmer colors generally, but I still like to mix things up, Green Age is one of those neutrals that I personally just always rock. I love it. But it's a very subtle green. So it's kind of like a starter green age. More grazy, really, to be honest, but there's that little bit in there to help it stand out a little bit more, which I enjoy. So pretty solid vibes, not gonna lie. What about the versatility? Everything's cool and all, but how usable is this color? for a lot of you. I'm one person and I like to talk about colors that can hopefully appeal to everyone. I like to talk about all colors, but there are certain colors that I think will just serve more people, which I think is a good. Believe it or not, pearly white is one of those colors. I think it has a high versatility when it comes to interior use. I think because of its higher LRV, 77, it gives it a lot of flexibility in areas that maybe don't get great lighting and areas that get awesome lighting or too much lighting still has just enough coloration to it where it won't be completely washed out. There might be better options that are a bit deeper in those really bright spaces. I think that is a problem that not a lot of us have. I think it's usually the opposite. We have rooms that maybe don't get quite enough light that we'd like. Maybe we wish we had more. In those areas, by going with a lighter color like pearly white, you'll reflect more light back into the space, which will maximize the lightness feeling in the room, which I think is good. Also, because it does have that very subtle green undertone that could maybe put people off you know if they're really against green but I think for a lot of other people's it's a good thing it just gives you something that works with so many different design styles and materials and colors and I think it's one worth trying out the only thing I'll say about green age 
and pearly white is included in this. It can get a little tricky to work with other neutrals. If you have a space where there are multiple rooms in view and you're using different colors in each one, mixing up neutrals that are very subtly different can look a little bit off in some cases, but you won't know that until you test your colors. So please, before you buy a big can of paint, or many of them, get a really tiny one first, test your colors out, please. I always say it, and I'm gonna keep saying it. Just do it. I know it's a lot of effort. It is kind of finicky to do, but it's worth it, trust me. So yeah, interior, good versatility. Exterior, also high versatility. I think this is a great exterior color. Not necessarily as like the go-to neutral, because typically neutral colors will look lighter when you use them outside. In fact, every color will. So a 77 LRV pearly white is gonna look pretty white. But what it will also give you is some coloration. So it won't look completely stark and bright and vibrant and overwhelming. This is one of those off-whites that will be able to complement similar colors of varying levels of depth. So if you have those earthier neutrals that you're using, some taupey colors, maybe some green-leaning browns, things of that nature, pearly white's gonna fit alongside it beautifully as a trim color. You could use it on things like shutters. You can even have it as a garage door color if you really wanted something lighter. But it is a great color and just just to remind you, yes, it will look a lot brighter when it's used outside. Because the sun, it's a big light. <laughs> it's gonna make things very, very bright. Okay, so verdict. How would I use this color? Where does it go on the palette pyramid? I think pearly white is absolutely main color worth. This is a paint color that you can use as the default go-to paint color in your whole home. It could be your hallway color. It could be your living room, your dining room color, your bathroom colors, your bedrooms. You can paint your whole house with this color if you really wanted, if you were going for something really streamlined and then have your actual furniture stand out, your flooring be featured, any other decor items. I normally don't recommend just going with one color, but it is a color that can be used pretty much anywhere. I really enjoy this color. I think it's one that can kind of ease you into greenish and greens and all that without being too overbearing. Like it has just subtlety to it, which I think is a nice thing as well. So that's how I would use it. But would I? Have you been watching the video? <laughs> of course I would. This is an awesome color. I really enjoy it. And I think this is one that I can easily recommend to a lot of people. Apparently it's one of the top 50 colors by Sherwin-Williams, according to their website, which is interesting because it's not one that I hear talked about a ton. This one was requested actually, but other than that one person, I haven't been hearing a lot about Pearly White. And maybe you haven't, but now you have, because that's a review. And if you want a color palette, based around pearly white, a good old palette pyramid, let me know. Comment down below. We'll see if it gets enough votes because otherwise it's gonna be decorators white. <laughs> All right, speaking of white, here's our first episode of Here Review, Ultra White by Benjamin Moore.